good evening friends welcome back to my channel and tonight trade my name is robin and let's do a nifty and bank nifty analysis for tomorrow okay so before we begin the analysis let's just understand what happened so both nifty bank nifty they opened gap down and uh, today definitely both of them did not even attempt to fill the gap okay so that should be done by the expiry and nifty made a big red candle and the entire day it just consolidated and it closed there as a bearish trend okay and similarly if we look at bank nifty uh, yeah bank nifty opened gap up and consolidated uh, the entire day within the first candle range so i just calculated the high and low of bank nifty so today's movement was only about 184 points so very sluggish market difficult to make money as an option buyer so i think even these days for the past one week or 10 days or so i'm just doing option selling directional option selling uh, wherever i get a chance like today i did a put sell right at this candle and closed at this candle i think around 315 so this or maybe this candle so that's how the market is uh, can't really make uh, good money in option buying so this will continue for some more days i'll tell you how you need to identify that so whenever in the participant one is open interest you see a big number from fis either addition of longs or addition of shorts okay not the closing of long or short but addition of long or short uh, with a huge number which should be like more than 15000 or 20000 you know when we see that kind of a number is when we can believe that within a day or two we are going to see a, a very big move but so far we don't see any position from them like that okay so let's jump into the analysis and understand how do we trade for tomorrow and just if you remember in yesterday's video i had told you in bank nifty that you can actually uh, put a straddle of 40 to 400 as a positional straddle which is the market either it will spend uh you know time in this range or when it comes to the lower level it will spend time in this range so this is what i told you if you remember so today it was just consolidating within this range so tomorrow in case if we open gap up then it will take up this range so that's how the market is at the moment purely option sellers uh days they are okay so let's look at the participant data okay so what fis have done is they have closed about 8600 long positions in the future okay so book profits here and they have closed about 49 shots not a big number in the short size uh, but definitely they have booked some long positions and if you look at uh, their option position uh, their net short on calls and long on puts and similarly pros are also uh, holding short in uh, on the calls okay so this indicates that uh, there is resistance in the market so market is not going to go up is what we can understand so what do we do is we take the opportunity of sell on rise okay so what we can expect is a, a sideways to slightly bearish market okay so this should be your strategy on both nifty and bank nifty now we need to understand uh, where the short positions are okay looking at price action it is easier to understand that bank nifty almost managed to close at day high so definitely the call writings may not be there in this but when we look at nifty nifty has closed within this range okay so there is a high probability that uh, both FIs and pros are holding their short positions within this range. 
so till the time 80% of the candle is not taken out after a flat opening i think they'll not even exit their positions if a gap up comes then there could be a problem we'll discuss that uh, but i also want to confirm this uh, data from option chain so if you look at nifty uh nifty's change in open interest on the put side is just about 38,72,750 and if you look at the call side it is 2 crore 65 lakh 6250 so a lot of uh you know change in oi or the open interest has been added on the call side and not on the put side so this indicates weakness and also the pcr value of nifty is currently at 0 0.64 okay whereas if we look at bank nifty uh bank nifty seems to be a little bullish because the change in oi on the put side is about 4 lakh 20000 okay it's 40 lakh 20175 and on the call side it is just about 32 lakh 63000 sorry 32 lakh 36325 so there is a difference of about uh, 7 lakhs of open interest on the put side so this indicates that uh, in bank nifty put writers are a little strong and that also is visible in the oi pcr which is at 0 0.97 so this is a neutral uh, pcr value okay so what do we understand is from price action and as well as from the open interest point of view that nifty is bearish and bank nifty is neutral at the moment okay now let's plan the trade plan for tomorrow so currently uh sgx nifty is trading flat just about 14 points higher so tomorrow if we uh, open so i think the best uh, thing to understand the trade is put a fibonacci from the day before yesterday's uh, last swing to today's low okay the 0 0.618 value is 18254 okay so that is your ultimate resistance so what you can actually do is you can actually put a line here so let's put that mm, okay so this is uh we can actually put the coordinates here 18 254.25 okay and i prefer to keep the color as orange so that i always remember that this is this is the 0 0.618 level and now you can actually remove this uh, also just check what is the 0 0.5 value also it is around 18209 uh, sorry 231 18231 okay so what does this mean so for example if we open gap up uh, say somewhere around 18250 at this area uh, you can actually go and buy a put okay we'll wait for a candle to close below this and immediately if uh, so there is a technique right i have always told you that a follow through candle so what happens in a follow through candle so imagine there is a candle something like this which has closed below this so we need in another candle which closes below this and if it retest this then we can buy a put with this as a sl and we can expect it to come down to 18180 and then eventually 18160 so your target for this should be 18160 your entry should be somewhere close to 18240 250 okay and in case if they close above we'll see that example too if they close above then we'll wait for them to fill this gap okay so as soon as they fill this gap it is better to go short here because imagine this is a better place 
uh, and you can short here then there is only one problem that it can come and start to take support here and in the second half if it gives a breakdown it will eventually come down to 18185 okay so then this should be your target so i hope it is clear uh, in case of a flat opening in this range will not do anything so that means within this range we are not going to do anything if we see a close below 18150 and then there is a follow through candle to it okay then at the retest around at this candles mid part will go and buy a put and then eventually it will come down and your target would be 18040 okay uh, about 110 points move and if it is opening flat and if it is going up will not do anything okay because we do not know from where it would return it can return from this point it can return from this point so we do not know it so what we do is better we take an entry at this point around 18250 here we'll buy a put and we'll expect it to come to 18150 or 160 okay any open of a gap down so nifty is just moving about say 100 points in a day okay so if there is a gap down opening of say around 80 points also then that is a profit for the option buy or the option sell that they are holding so there is a high possibility they may book the profit and this may trade sideways completely okay and nifty and bank nifty both will continue to remain uh, you know in the opposite direction so if this is opening against their position okay so for example a very big gap up imagine it is opening at 18260 then what they'll do is they'll manipulate their positions in bank nifty so bank nifty may become weaker and they'll keep nifty sideways and they'll adjust their positions so keep this in mind so this is my view on nifty let's quickly check out bank nifty so bank nifty like we uh, discussed earlier 42400 is the key level so 42400 positional straddle is the thing which is going on in the market for the past three four days so if we say imagine we open flat okay and we close above 42400 and you see a follow through candle then in a dip i'll prefer buying a call and see if it goes up to 42 550 to 600 here i'll book my target so this should be a plan if it opens flat and starts moving up and similarly if it opens gap up uh, you know we'll do nothing we'll wait for it to fill the gap on both the side okay and whichever side it breaks down or gives a breakout that side will trade so either we'll trade above this level or we'll trade below this level aggressive traders what you can do is uh, this is definitely going to act as a resistance which is around 42 uh, 470 here you can go for a put trade and then you can imagine that it can come up to max 42 300 so this is the move that you can expect in bank nifty bank nifty if it opens gap down then uh, that's what so nifty will also open gap down they'll book profits in nifty and they may change their position to bank nifty so we'll have to see what bank nifty is doing if it is not breaking 42 250 that means it is going to stay sideways here so you can maybe plan a 42 300 straddle or a strangle whatever you wish and the breakout of 42 400 is when you go for a directional call trade so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty uh, i think we did not discuss gap down in bank nifty so if bank nifty opens gap down say around 42 200 nothing it will take support at 42 100 okay at this place 
So here, if you see a reversal candle or a follow through candle, then in the dip, I'll prefer buying a call. Okay, this is in case of a gap down and we can expect it to move until 42,360. Okay, but this movement will be slower, definitely. So keep that in mind. So this is my view on bank Nifty and Nifty. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope things are clear. And I'm as I told you yesterday that uh, I'm making a video. Uh, that video is something which definitely will change your uh, perception in watching candlesticks. Okay, thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.